Okay guys, so in this video we're going to walk through the difference of squares challenge. So let's get into it. So find the difference between the square of the sum and the sum of the squares of the first n natural number. Now that's a mouthful. Uh, this was super confusing to me when I was starting to read through the, speci like the specification for this, but yeah. Basically the square of the sum of the first 10 natural numbers is 1 plus 2 plus yada 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 up until plus 10 to the power of 2 uh, squared equals 55 squared is we, which is equal to 3025 and yeah you can basically read through all of this if you want to it I on, honestly I found it made more sense to just walk through the tests and kind of figure out like w what the actual results was going to be so here are the different tests for the different functions there's three in total that we needed to imp I needed to implement so the first function was the square of sum so I get Basically, I get a number. I use uh, as an uh, any a given number, and now I'm supposed to return the the sum, the square of the sum of the all those of the, of all the all the all the numbers up until that number. That's basically how it works. So I set the, set my numbers to zero, and then I loop through everything from zero up until that number, and then I basically just add add i to the numbers and then I return numbers to the power of 2 or squared. That's basically all this function needs to do. And then we have the function that is called sum of squares and that basically means that all right, we're gonna get in a list of numbers and we need to square all of those and when they're squared we return the sum of, those, of all those squares. So the way that I did this was that I created a vector I loop through all the numbers and then I just add them all to an array and then I create an iterable over that vector and I use the fold function which is going to go through the whole like the whole array and return a single value which is exactly what I want so I initialize it with zero and then I have this lambda function here where I have an accumulator and the number itself that the next number in 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 the iteration so I just add to I just return the accumulator the previous number or the previous result plus the number squared and that's my sum and then I simply return the sum and then finally the difference function well that's basically just calling these two functions and yeah uh, sub uh, subtracting the results of these two functions from each other and yeah as you can see all the tests are passing and yeah that's basically my solution have a great day